we demonstrate so many times. We can't get no, no help, no assistance. Look on the river. Eh? We can't get no water. You see pipeline there straight at town it gone. Eh? We can't get no water. We now have no represent around here. We represent we. Eh? We want some water and we want it like no. If not, we are lock off the dam and we can't content. We are lock it off again. We need some water, please. Water. So local government election is just five days away. And residents of Windsor Forest in St. Thomas are threatening to lock off the water supply to Kingston if they don't get water in their pipes soon. Judge. PM, Prime Minister Andrew Wallace announced that the Greater Mandeville Water Supply Program will be expanded to provide pipe water to the community of Belfield. So this man, everywhere in walk go, everywhere in drive go, everywhere in stop, he make promise to the people him. Imagine, Santa must provide water for Kingston and you cannot make St. Thomas people get water. There are so many places in Jamaica that don't have water and don't have road. And you keep on going around and promising and promising and promising and promising and promising. Blessed to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put god first in every uh, any situation just always remember for call upon god always remember for pray because a prayer day keep the devil and we now my viewers and my subscribers alisa king are back home in jamaica yes people we are talking about the same alisa king that the 18 year old boy burned up in her sleep and funny enough Doctor did give her only six days to live. Doctor did say she now live past six days. But God work miracle. Prayers beat anything. Me can tell you that. Also, people, the guy that did it, his boyfriend, 18 year old, bad foul, aka Mr. Gray. Less than 24 hours after she reached home. I see our greatest wish is for the police to catch that criminal. The police them catch him less than 24 hours before she make a request that she wish the police them couldn't catch her, catch him. The police them catch him. Whose work is that? No one else but God. We also are going to take a serious look into the bad song from New Kids HD. From his new EP. <coughs> but people, before we get into all of that people, I would appreciate if you all would leave a like on this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if it's a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content and leave your opinion down below in the comment section. <laughs> So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now people, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. So now my people, when Alisa King, the 17-year-old, who was severely burnt in her sleep last August, allegedly by her 18-year-old boyfriend, ex-boyfriend I should say, big and bleeding uncontrollable, after surgery at a Texas hospital in the United States, the doctors gave her three hours to live. She is extremely happy that she managed to beat those ads. Judge, now doctor can't give nobody no time to live. A God is in control. A God can tell you how long you are gonna live for. All right. So people, check out this video. Alicia, welcome home. The Lord have 
brought you back home to us safely. Um, I can reflect on August the 24th when I hear what happened to Alicia and somehow the Lord said to me prepare they are going to be at your door tomorrow I pick my phone up and call my brother because he was abroad and I tell him what happened and so said so done the next morning on the 25th of August 7.30 in the morning there's Alicia family her mom and team right there waiting I said how may I help they said Mr. White everyone that get burned in Jamaica they run to San Myrna Foundation for help and we need help for Alicia we want to save her life and from there the journey began we come together like how Jamaicans always do give helping hand and we stand up and we didn't stop until we raised that funds and ensure that Alicia leave out and go on her journey of recovery but today is a special day because out of five person that we help two have passed away and three is here with us just give the Lord thanks and what made it so special with Alicia is that the doctor say she she was minutes away from that minutes away and they did every single thing to ensure that they save her life and she's here today with us and we're not just going to celebrate her homecoming we are going to also celebrate her birthday and we just happy to have you back home Alicia we we fight this fight together to ensure that we see you to go back on the plane and come back home to us with a bright smile and that's exactly what we get through all the pain and struggle you went through you came back smiling and we are grateful to the Lord for that. I truly would like to thank the San Marino Association for believing in me, reaching out to me and giving me that victory so today I can be here standing right now and giving the praise to God and thank Him for the Shriners Hospital. Those people, they fixed, literally fixed my whole body. Like, at one point, I didn't believe I could do all this again, and those made me believe. And I just want to thank the AC Hotel to accommodate me, and I appreciate everything that you've been doing. Yes. Yeah. Now, somebody tell me, who say God is not good? Who say God is not real? Because who else could did that but God? At first, them give her six days to live. And then them give her three hours to live. And now she's home for doing fine, very strong, and happy. But while she's home, she make a request and said she wish that her ex-boyfriend could be in custody right now. And guess what? Bad foul. Young woman arrested. One day after burnt victim Alisa King returned home. Approximately one day after burnt victim Alisa King returned to Jamaica, after several successful treatments in the United States, the man accused of dosing her with gasoline before setting her ablaze last year has been arrested. God is good. The 18-year-old Antoine Badfall Gray was arrested alongside a young woman accused of harboring him in her home in Central Village, St. Catherine, about 1.40 p.m. on Wednesday. We just caught the criminal that burnt up the 17-year-old girl 
it was a coordinated effort between the St. Andrew South, Linstead and the Central Village Police Station. All came together and teamed up for this effort, source told Dance Hall Royalty Review TV. The arrest came after King endured six grueling months of intensive life-saving treatment at Chenier's Burn Center in Texas despite the situation she returned home with a smile. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Who else could it be but God? But make we continue. I truly would like to thank the Samarina Association for believing in me and reaching out to me to give me that victory. Right now, I am giving praise to God and Sharina Hospital who literally fixed my whole body, she said. Now, who would not give that thanks and that praise and that glory to the Most High, the Almighty God, after such a life-saving effort? Remember, you know, she get three hours to live, but God say, today and of your day, we're not ready for take it yet. You have a purpose and hurt to fulfill. So God gave her an, an ex chance at life. And my only hope say she turn over her life to God. Because God have done so much for her. Not the doctors. Not who pay money and all of them something day. But God. Who else could it be? But God. So my only hope say she pay God a favor in return by turning over her life to God. You understand? And this teach the young ladies them. Be careful. Be careful. Life is really important ahead. You don't need to rush to go live with no man. You don't need to rush to go in a relationship because at the age of 17, you should only look for further your education. And me not bash her, but me just a try to show the young ladies them say. At the end of the day, try to start out your future before you try to start out a relationship. Because you're not really smart enough to think wisely enough to know, say, listen, the person there is not really good enough for me. You understand what I mean? So you find yourself in a position where you find yourself with the wrong person. You find yourself with a corner boy, with a whole criminal, about him named Bad Foul. Now, back in your cage, foul man. But people stay to thought and that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, leave a like on this video. We're moving on. So the resident of St. Thomas are sending a very serious message to the Water Commission and to Andrew Wellness. Residents of Windsor Forest in St. Thomas are threatening to lock off the water supply to Kingston if they don't get water in their pipe soon. They further said that... The water from their community is piped so miles away to supply other parishes. So the St. Thomas resident them, the river they over St. Thomas, and them not have no water in them pipe. But yet still, water commission, the pump the water go all the way to Kingston and many, many other parishes. And the people them angry about that. Now water commission... And the government need to fix that because the people of St. Thomas, they need water to do their domestic course. They need water for water them plant, them farm. So, I don't know what they're going to do about that, but check out this video. We demonstrate so many times. We can't get no, no help, no assistance. Look on the river. Eh? We can't get no water. You see pipeline there straight at town it gone. Eh? We can't get no water. We now have no represent one here for represent we. Eh? We want some water and we want it like now. If not, we are lock off the dam and we can't content we are lock it off again. We need some water, please. The water commission, we have two rivers here and then take the water from here and from Ramble go down. You can't see water and run can wash their ramble every night. You go down there, you see. People are planting, we can't plant nothing here. 
Because we know I'm not even water to wash with skin. Every evening, my grandfather come from school. They have to go out of bed and full and look back to the water. Bring back, put in the bathroom for them to be the man time to go back to school. We just can't manage it. So, these councillors, these mayors, and these MPs are getting taxpayers' money to represent the people and ensure say, the people are doing okay in their communities. And instead of helping these people, by getting water for them, make sure the water in a them pipe. What them do? Them they pan campaign, a campaign, and they tell the people them more lies, pantapa lies, pantapa lies, pantapa lies. How them go pump water in a them pipe? How them go alright because they go give them water, and they go give them road, and they go give them all manner of foolishness. Now, these people of Jamaica need to wise up and be smart and make them people and know. Say, listen, don't come to me with no promise. We want water. And if these people are smart enough over there in St. Thomas, then they would make these people know. These people that are in government, make them know plain as straight. Say, if we don't get no water in our pipe, we now go out, go vote next week, Monday. Remember, Monday is election. So if Uno all out, Uno we get water. But check out this from Prime Minister. PM Holiness promise pipe water to Belfield. Manchester. More promise. Prime Minister Andrew Owens has announced that the Greater Mandeville Water Supply Program will be expanded to provide pipe water to the community of Belfield in Manchester, Mandeville. Mr. Owens said his administration remains committed to improve the living condition of Jamaicans. He says the government record of achievement is proof that the, the Jamaican Labour Party fulfill its promise to the Jamaican people. Now, is this man sleeping or is this man crazy or he must smoke? Something why not for smoke. Which part for Andrew Wold is a, a, a fulfilled promise? This man, every time when I read what this man says, just get me ignorant. Because I don't see where on this earth Andrew Wellness have fulfilled no promise. The only promise where Andrew Wellness fulfilled to the people is to betray the Jamaican people. Why this man so lie, man? The government lie, man, lie, man, lie, the man, lie, the man. Lie. How can you trust a government that tells so many lies to his people? More anti people of Jamaica tell me which part Andrew Wellness make promise and kept his promise. Because so far, I don't see Andrew Wellness I keep no promise at all. The man promised St. Mary War Market 2016. He promised St. Mary War Market 2020. And he promised St. Mary War Market 2024. So you know, the man put it in a tree. And said, it, give them one three-story market. I have never heard of a three-story market before. So three promises and then he turned in a one three-story. You know, he said, man, take one of an idiot. You know, he said, a fool, the man take one of a. The man tell Clarkstone people them say no build up Clarkstone. Move them out I get to and build them up and give them house. And he make people go set down the name. How much people run up and down, set down name and all of them something there. It's 2016. 2020 man do the same thing again. No. 2024 the man tell Clarkstone say. You don't go turn Clarkstone in a city. Fall out in a city, but you turn Clarkstone in a city. Don't concern a city boy, you turn in Clarkstone in a city. The road where him drive pan figure Clarkstone on the baddest road in the whole of Chilani. And him can't fulfill the promises of fixing the roads. But yet still, him have a heart for come and make more promise to the Jamaican people. Me not tell nobody what to do. But I would vote him out. Because you cannot work with a government that you cannot trust. You cannot work with a government that continue to, be, to betray the people that put him in power. You cannot work with an unfair government, a liar government, and a criminal government because him cannot declare his asset up till today. Day. You cannot have a government that have six criminals sit down in parliament with him. And I'm afraid 
to reveal their name, him afraid to expose those six criminals that are in parliament eating and stealing away taxpayers' money. We cannot trust you. We cannot trust a government that get $101 million for the people and can't get account for it. We cannot trust a government that get $100 million and can't get account for it. We cannot trust a government that get $650 million for hand out to poor people when locked down a few much years without food for it. And can't get account for it. How can we trust a government that locked up Jamaican people and beat them because them taught them mind how them feel? You see how much things the one man do we? You see how much things the one person is supposed to respect his people that put him in power did to us. And then when me put up my video, when me put up my video, so only crab blows come under my video. I chat say me a fight against the Prime Minister. I'm a bad man. Oh, I'm a bad man. Oh, I'm a bad man. Tell me, oh, I'm a bad man. My bad man, a man will lock me up for talk with mine. With, with, with bad man, a man will go sign one, one, one big old fish deal. And they turn the Jamaican pick me them in a fish. Look how much Prime Minister come. And they never go sign that deal. And him come and go sign that big old fish deal. Now when my son go to school, maybe I forgo with one mash yet. Because if a boy look for my son too hard, much less we go touch him. It not go nice. So when you would go bring in the lad in the school where your teacher pity them, say it is okay for them to, to, to switch them body because they may be stuck in the wrong body. You want to say Jamaican people don't get angry for that? You want to tell me, say, after this man go side the summer our deal, Uno now go do no research and know what is it about. You want to tell me, say, after this man sign the freedom of speech deal, when take away people freedom of speech, Jamaican people don't get angry about that. Uh, uno people each up in their green clothes them. We're supposed to talk to no government. Uno not say nothing. And uno know want other people to talk. Jamaica is a godly land. We believe in a God. And this man sold us out to the devil. And nobody enough to talk. This man closed down all of the church them during the pandemic. Where the only place you can go, go pray. The way you can pray here. Yeah. But that is where people go for worship. Him closed down the church them. Catch church members when they got church and lock them up and charge them how much money. And they have to pay here go spend time in prison. While film big friend them. They are hotel a key party. While ships stuck in a Jamaica, they keep big party at a Jamaica. And white people are enjoying themselves. And Jamaican people have to lock up in a house without food for eat. And we for sit down and enjoy that. We if you stick with a government that don't care about his own people. We if you stick with a government that hate his people because this man don't like you know like poor people none at all. So when you come up, oh, I, I, I love poor people, but I hate poverty. You, know? you don't love poor people because poor people are poverty. You love rich people. And that's why from your coming up poor, the rich, they get richer and the poor, they get poorer. You come and you tax everything where you can tax and it don't tell you about you not tax nothing. When Bruce Golden win, Bruce Golden go up and the woman and go tax pad. In tax yam, in tax banana. Input tax for every single thing. And when the people them say, what a nasty prime minister you be. Oh, if you go on and the woman, him go and tax pad. Why him say? Why him say? Because some of them don't know research. You know, you tell me why him say. How can we trust corrupted government like these? Criminal government like these? People. Me can't tell nobody what to do. But me know what me would have do. Me would not be the first one to burn out this Prime Minister. Completely burn him out. Can't trust a man when you no love God. You can't represent or support somebody that support the opposite. You support God, him support the devil. 
You can't support a man that you believe, you have your strong belief that there should be man to woman. Body to pony. And this man won't constrange your belief and tell you, say, it is okay to be whosoever you want to be because you may be strapped in the wrong body. I'm not chopping on my wrong body, I'm chopping on the right one, I'm a man. A man, a man, a man, if act like man, man, if behave like man, man, if stand up like man. So, how can we trust a prime minister? What do tell we say? We may be strapping at the wrong body. There are so much things that I can go on with, but I'm gonna leave it right here for now. And people, stay the thought down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video, remember to give this video. A thumbs up. And remember, God is love. God is love. Without God, we wouldn't die so right now. So not just no man we try to sell with the devil. Not just no man we put money over in people them. Remember that. Big up on yourself. Enough love, enough respect. Thanks for the continuous support.